Welcome to another demo series of these data product solutions. Today we will take a look at how Easy Integrations product will help us to integrate Salesforce to Amazon S3. For detailed explanation on Easy Integrations product, please watch our product overview video on our website or YouTube channel. The Easy Integrations product is a secured seamless integration framework that enables transfer of data between source to target systems with easy to configure steps. We use secure APIs and other means of inbound outbound access provided by enterprise applications to enable this integration. Today we are integrating the source Salesforce with Amazon S3 which is our target. Without any further ado, let's jump into the application and let's see how the integration between these two are done. Before getting into application, let's see what data are we going to flush from source to target. So, our source here is Salesforce. We have already logged into Salesforce. Today, we are going to bring all the item data from Salesforce to our target. Click on items. As you can see, there are a couple of item data here. Using our easy integrations let's flush all this data to our target. Log in to our Amazon S3, which is our target. After logging in, navigate to Services menu and then click on S3 under Storage section. Here, we get to see list of S3 buckets. Here we do not use the term database warehouse. We use the term bucket. We are going to bring all item data from Salesforce to our bucket. Which is named is these data bucket. Click on it. Now the bucket is empty. Let's bring data into this bucket by integrating Salesforce and Amazon S3. Let's log into Easy Integrations application. As we spoke earlier, Easy Integrations provide simple steps to enable the integration services. It involves configuration of source configuration of target and creation of integration bridge service to enable the integration of to begin with we configure our source from where we fetch data in this case we go for our source Salesforce we have already configured our sources item underscore SFDC underscore CSV Click on Edit button to open in Edit mode. Every source requires source name, which is mandatory to provide. Source type is selected by default, based on your source selected. In Input tag, we provide source information required. Here we have provided Connection name, API object name. Under Operation tag, we define any data transformation operation needs to be applied to incoming data. In Parameter 1, we have provided columns related to item data. And pointing it to Parameter 2, which is a target variable which will contain CSV values. Save the data source. Click on Data Target to configure the target system. Our target system is Amazon S3. Open it. We have configured our target. Named it as these data bucket. Open it in edit mode. Same as source. Provide target name. Target type is selected by default.
in output tag. Select connection name from the drop down. Provide your S3 bucket name and region. We have provided tuning file size as 5 megabytes and target column. There won't be any hustle in switching into different API versions. If API version changes, just change the version from the drop down. Our application will handle the rest of the job. After target configuration, save it. Navigate to Integration Bridge and create a new service. In Integration Bridge let's open our already configured integration service. Click on Edit. Here we have provided Integration Bridge service name and we have given source name, source type, target and target type that we have created. Click on save once it is done. Now the integration bridge service is ready. Let's start the integration service and bring data from Salesforce. As you can see, the integration service is started running. Wait for 10 to 15 seconds. Now let's jump into Amazon S3 and check the item data from Salesforce has come to S3 bucket or not. Click on Refresh. The integration service has brought all the data from Salesforce to B's data bucket within a minute. Click on the checkbox to view brief information about the generated CSV, which contains information like file size, properties, permission and various information. Click on file name. It will take you to download window. In order to check item data, click on download to download generated file. Open the downloaded file. The file has got all the item data in CSV format. Similarly we can create seamless integration between two systems with our Easy Integrations product. Thanks for watching. For more details log in to our website www.bsdata360.com slash products slash easy integrations.